Agrobiodiversity is the diversity of varieties of species and functional groups that make up our food system. Have you ever been to buy food and been pleasantly surprised at the number of different varieties of apples or another fruit that, depending on where you live, that you can find? I'm always very excited when I go to buy food and I see an enormous amount of diversity that exists for, for apples and tomatoes around where I live. But actually, there are hundreds and if not thousands varieties of uh, most fruits and vegetables. So the foods that we rely on represent a really small proportion of the available diversity um, that's out there, the species and varieties that we could eat. And the problem with this is that many of the species and the varieties that we find in the shop or at the market are selected because they're high yielding and because they travel well, and not because they're the most nutritious or because they're the best adapted to the climate where they're grown. So this means we could be overlooking, we are likely to be overlooking, more nutritious, better adapted species and varieties that could help us close micronutrient deficiencies and also help us adapt to climate change. And what's more, this approach encourages the simplification of farming systems. You may have noticed that commercial agricultural areas around where you live tend to be dominated by single crops, field upon field of the same crop. For example, here in Mediterranean France, where I live, it's grape. You can find fields upon field of, of, of grape. And there's more and more evidence showing that actually this is really bad news. We need diversity in our fields and in our farms and in our landscapes to be able to make sure farm food production systems and food supply chains are resilient to pests and disease outbreaks, market failures to climate shocks. And so at the Alliance, we have created a tool called the Agrobiodiversity Index that tries to capture the diversity in our food system in the production side and also through to the um, consumption and diets. And you can have a look at the latest application of the Agrobiodiversity Index in our report focused on the Mediterranean food systems. Next time you're at the market or at your local food shop and you see a fruit or vegetable that you haven't tried before, do give it a go. You'll be diversifying your diet and you'll also be helping farmers to diversify their